today? I am so good. How are you? I'm so good to talk to you today. I'm <laughs> ecstatic, okay? Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Look, one of the things that I have to ask the cast, and I know you probably get asked this all the time, but I have, I'm, I have a fear of missing out. I want to know, what does it feel like to step back into the Trebekah Firehouse? after each film, like what's that feeling that you get when you first step inside? Yeah, well, I remember the first day I stepped inside. I remember the first day on the set. I remember, you know, it's almost like yesterday. I realized it wasn't yesterday, it was actually 40 years ago, but it's just a reminder and I'm so thankful to still be around to, um, to experience it, to enjoy it and seeing Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd and Annie Potts who were there in the very beginning still in great condition, still able to bring their best work uh, and come and play in a, in a real way. You know, we're not just some people who are flash our faces and we're, we're not, but they're really ready to, you know, to rumble and play. And the new cast is incredible and talented. So for me, this is, it's almost like stepping back into a postcard, you know. I was here, you know, I go, oh yeah, I, I, you know, and time has passed. The world has changed, but we're still still standing and still enjoying. That means a lot. <laughs> One of the things that I love about where we find everyone is, you know, they are kind of just trying to figure out where they fit into life right now. Mm -hmm. And I love this whole idea of how you have to continuously be evolving as a person. And so I want to know for the both of you in your careers, like how do you make sure that you're still evolving as an actor with the roles that you choose? Oh, that's a great question. I know, I know for me, <clears throat> The older I get, the most important quality that the people in my life share is is fundamentally curiosity. I think being a curious person is probably the most important key to longevity there might be. And I and I know that in my work, that that always serves to take me out of myself. And I think I just think it's a great quality. It's a quality that I want to engender in my kids. It's a quality I want in the people I'm working with, and it's a quality I hope to maintain as I get older. I love it. How about you? I mean. Uh, yeah, that is a it's a great question, and I think that you know I evolve in li in life. I'm getting older. My I have a family. It, my kids are older. You know, it's you you lose loved ones as you as you get older. You ex just experience more and more in life, and so uh, that just innately comes to whatever character you're playing. You're bringing all of your life experiences to it, and so you interpret each character kind of in a different way because the way I would look at this character. 10 years ago would be different. And so uh, the more life experiences, um, it, it just determines how you kind of approach the work. And that's always evolving. That's always changing. And hopefully is becoming more and more layered and a little more nuanced and a little more interesting and a little less obvious because you just have more life experience. Okay, I gotta get more life experience so I can keep evolving. <laughs> Try and get some life experience in before the day. Just, this is a great, this, I always, it's like every day before bed, just set aside an hour for some life experience. I'm gonna add that into the calendar. Okay? Yeah, perfect. Getting to know yourself more and like having more life experience, you sort of just like keep learning about life and yourself and, um, um, yeah, I don't know. I think that it's kind of all, you're always learning, obviously, and it's, yeah. I yeah. learn a lot from watching other people. I learn, yeah. um, I learn a lot from getting to be on set with, um, with like the OGs and Paul and um, even Finn. Like I, I just, I learn a lot from watching everybody and um, I don't know, doing roles that kind of push you to your limits sometimes because <laughs> then you discover them. Well, I think I look back on when I first, um, before I, I knew I'd be an actor, you know, I mean, I was a little late sort of discovering it. I got out of high school. And, I, and I, I just remember asking if there's just something I can be a part of, something I can do, something I can find meaning and purpose. I just want to be able to, to just, you know, to not just feel I'm working a job. And I discovered mm -hmm. theater, I discovered acting, and I, and I asked God, just please, just, if you would bless me to be able to do this, I will honor it. I will show up on time. My wife has never had to wake me up to go to work. I mean, I am so thankful, and I've never forgotten that. I'm, I just know how blessed I am. And when I see Bill Murray, or I see Dan Aykroyd, and I see how they've had a, a, a just a, amazing careers, 
and they're still still trying to find and make it better. Um, it just means a lot. It inspires me. But I am just I'm just really really thankful because. Um, you know, and we, as you get older, you see friends, and we all develop and grow in different ways. And some of us, you know, better than others, but um, you know what life can be. And I'm so thankful that when I say golden years, these are truly golden years. And a large part of that is thanks to, you know, the fans of Ghostbusters and, and all the work and films that I've done. But I like the whole idea of, like, you have this chosen family now, and that Ghostbusters family is even bigger. And I want to know, like, when you step into a set, you know, you're meeting this new group of people. Like, how do you establish that sense of family? Like, how do you build that chemistry when you first come into a new set? Well, I feel like I've been really lucky in, in reg regards to the people I've had the opportunity to work with is that I have found that actors in general are incredibly generous people and curious people and and welcoming and sort of grateful to be where they are. And so I always found it's, it's pretty easy to establish that intimacy. And not to mention that I think the OGs recognized how intimidating it is for us to step into this world. And they were always incredibly welcoming about uh, making sure we felt like we belonged. One of the coolest things about working on this movie, which is a little different than other things I think we've worked on, is that we all really did sit together yeah. in between shots normally Everyone goes to their corner or they'll go look at their phone or they'll go back to a trailer. And on this movie, for some reason, we had a tent and we all <laughs> sat together and hung out and, and talked um, yeah. throughout the entire filming. And so just the very nature of doing that makes you closer. And, um, and so we all, I think we just all really clicked and we all enjoyed each other's company and the making of the movie was extra fun because we really did spend time with one another. Look, I just absolutely adore this franchise. I remember been, being put on with my parents when I was younger. And one of the things that I love about this franchise is that it's always these group of people coming together and like having this sense of a chosen family. Yeah. And I want to know for you, like now that you're ushering a new generation into that family, how has it been working with the new cast? The new cast is incredible. First off, they're all, I mean, really professional. Uh, they've been around a while and they all, you know, they come ready to work 100%. But they also all have a really respect for the original movies. Um, all Everybody's so glad to be a part of it, even us old guys. I mean, to be able to, because it's the fans that we really sort of owe, you know, I mean, the reason we're here is because people embrace this movie in a way that we had no idea. And, uh, and we want to be able to bring our best. And I see it in the young, the cast that are coming together. We're just trying to tell a story in a way that people will embrace it and love it. And um, I'm inspired. I learn from watching them. I mean, really, it's a great group of people. I learn every day being on the set. I feel like hopefully if the franchise moves forward that um, I think the kids will be central to the story. And I love that Jason's idea was to, um, you know, hand it off to a female scientist, you know, a young girl. I think that was really exciting, right? And um, so I'm eager to see what they're able to do with that younger generation going forward. I kind of feel like the bridge to that. And, um, and it still feels really surreal to be a part of the franchise at all. It's one of those really, really like um, pinch me kind of moments. It's strange. How about you? Y'all still a part of that younger generation, okay? <laughs> God bless. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take it. <laughs> with this with this kind of life experience? I don't know. <laughs> I did not like the disrespect that Phoebe was getting in this film. Yeah. Was ready to ride out and go to war. Yeah, right? why'd nobody fight for me? Why didn't you do anything? I'm the mayor. Why, why didn't you do the anything? The mayor, I guess. Why, so why didn't you help I me? guess the mayor and the city or <laughs> like, whatever. Like, great. <laughs> Yeah. Phoebe, was waiting, Phoebe was waiting on, you know. Yeah, no. You go, you go fight for me or what? Yeah. I would have liked to. Oh, character. sure. Well, mm -hmm. it wasn't written. Oh, too bad I do. <laughs> yeah, no, great, thanks. I'm blaming it on Gil and Jason, wasn't it? Yeah. Written. No, it was, it was not definitely me. not fun for Phoebe. <laughs> but I mean, also, too, it was okay for Phoebe to basically save the world, but now it's not okay because they consider Phoebe to be too young to be a hero. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just 
the disrespect. So I want to know for the both of you, you know, being on these sets, working with the OGs, like, how do you make sure that you're still, like, owning yourself? Like, how do you make sure that you stand up for yourself and make sure that you're being heard when you're on set? That's a, that's a great question. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a weird thing. I feel like there's so much, like, pressure on the, in a good way, like, there's so much pressure on the day to, like, just try to do as best as you can. And that comes sometimes just takes over. And I would say also... Being young, like in an industry, there's a certain kind of like you're doing things also in spite of that. Like you're like, okay, like, you know, here's all these adults that are telling us like, okay. Uh, and that's what's especially great about working on this is that like we really feel like collab we're, we're collaborating with people, which like sometimes you don't get. Sometimes you're on a set and, um, you know, yeah, you're looked at as a kid and sometimes you have to like speak up for yourself and try to. Just, yeah, I don't know, um, like like Phoebe, sort of like kind of uh, stand up for yourself and like think outside the box. Um, but yeah, getting that confidence is, I, I don't really know. I think it's just, just like being in the moment. Um, and sometimes you don't have the confidence to do it and like, you know, you just rely on the process and stuff. So, yeah. And how about you? I mean, uh... I don't really know. I think that I, the roles that I do and what I work in, especially Phoebe, like I care very deeply for the character and for the film and I truly just want it to be as best as possible, which I think everybody does uh, that's involved, but I, I think that I really always try to very respectfully give whatever opinion I can on the character, do whatever I can to make sure that my performance is the best it can be. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always weird being a kid on a set surrounded by adults. Because, <laughs> you know, it, it's kind of like you are an adult until you're a kid again. Yeah, Whenever totally. you're on a set, it's like you're, you're a kid until like you need to be an adult. So it, it's, it's well, always a weird balance. It's kind of like, you know, I, I'm lucky enough to have the career, you know, that, I mean, that, that we both have, but like I also, you know, I have friends in college and stuff like that. And like, I feel like it's just always a thing where you're in your early twenties, at least for me. And like, you're kind of an adult, but you're also, like, not really, and you're still, like, maturing and, like, trying to figure out your place, and mm -hmm. so I think that's, like, obviously a very different position that we're in, but I, I do think that there's something to be said about just, like, being young generally. Um, yeah. Look, I just want to thank the both of you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to speak with me. I appreciate you. Thank that's you. You too. I'm you had great questions. Like I tried, okay? I'm just sending love and light both your ways. I hope you Thank have you. a great day. Thank you. Thank you, you so too. much.